Okay then guys, welcome to Let's Play Bastion, that one, and before I even start the game, just listen. Oh my god, that music is freaking amazing. I got this on Steam the other day, and I completed it on Steam the other day. The story, the gameplay, the everything in this game is amazing. Gameplay is an RPG, my favourite genre. The story and the gameplay is blended seamlessly together by the narrator. You'd never get interrupted by stupid cutscenes that just completely stop the flow of awesome violence. In the middle of levels and stuff like that. It's just so good. I can't express just how good this game is. It is just amazing. Yeah. It's not often that I get a game and I just start it and that's it. I can't stop until I've finished it, but this is one of those. It is great. And basically I need an excuse to play it again. You're my excuse. So here we go. New game. And I'm sure you wish to start a new game. Yes, I do. Yep. So, also, don't expect me to be talking a lot in this because the narrator is, you know, amazing. His voice is godlike, so... Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. I have turned on the subtitles just in case I interrupt him. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That voice just... It, is there any reason to just express how awesome that voice is? It's just... Oh, God. That a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him, though. Oh, it's just so awesome. I love it. I mean, I don't know another game which does story in such a nice way. Do you? Is there another game that does story like this? I want to know. I want to play it. Ah, oh, this is... It's just so good. It's always nice to have a bit of destructible terrain as well. That. Kid just rages for a while. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Yeah, I'm used to having it, yeah, my repeater just being godlike, so, yeah, sucks that this isn't. I have, like, my ammo's unbelievable with this thing on my actual game, which is now deleted. Ah, well, completed it anyway, twice. Oh, next. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do both. You do get a new game and a new game plus, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do both. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. It's just so awesome. This game is just too awesome to be too. It's amazing. Oh, it's just too good. It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do this because I've got no time to upload this at all. I'm probably just going to upload it when I get a chance to upload it. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. <laughs> Then Kid finds his trusty yeah. shield. 
But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Come and have a go. And there we are. Special delivery. Gas, fellas. Same roughly at it. Windbags start turning up for last oh God, call. Yeah, they're all pretty damn weak though. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Okay, more killing. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. You're dead. Yeah, this game will get a lot more tactical later on. There are some bits which is really hard, which I will have to do more than once. I'll probably Kid just sees it the out. weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. I'll cut out my failures win, which is what's going to happen when I get to those bits. Ronnie always wanted his ashes scattered here. Aren't I nice? Geronimo. Press space, use... yeah, I know about that. Great loading screens. What you talk about in the loading screen? He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Not exactly my favorite thing in the game, the breaker's bow. I use the fang repeat on that. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Well, nice, quick, easy. I don't even need anything from the fountain, do I? Let's just jump over here and grab that. This is what you use to upgrade your weapons. Bob. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Yeah, that is going to be used to upgrade my bow. If I want to upgrade it. And here we are. Nice, simple, easy. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. Ah, uh, didn't quite manage that. I get a bit impatient sometimes. Wasn't long before there the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Come on. There we are. Grab this. Shoot that just as I can. Shoot that just as I can. Yeah, you can fall off the edges. They don't seem to be able to right now. I'm not sure why. Oh. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tone. Yeah. To use these, you basically... You see those little black tonics that I'm pointing at with my mouse thing now? Yeah. Each time I use it, I use up one of those. I'll show it you now. This is the basic one. You do get some better ones. He's a mighty on. fast learner. Okay, now what's next? He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. And this is kind of the level up system. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. You slowly get more and more and more, you know, drinks, and you use drinks to buff yourself. And the story behind that is that no drinks basically were allowed in the bastion. Unless they actually gave you, you know, extra strength. So people started to invent drinks which gave you the strength stuff. And also tasted nice, maybe. Um, fetching fizz is good, but I'm not going to have it. I don't really need it. I'm probably going to go for squirt cider. Bit of extra health always useful. So basically, as you level up, get more and more of these. By level 10, you're basically a god with 10 of these things. There's lots and lots of different um, drinks you can get throughout the game. And this is the arsenal. You can just choose which weapons you want. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Pretty basic. I've only got the whirlwind at the moment. But I can change out my breaker's bow. 
Um, I could go with, say, I could stick with it breaks bow and, for instance, just go with two ranged weapons. It's extremely not smart, unbelievably not smart to not to do that. You will be annihilated if you do that. Also, skills. Here we are, we actually do. But it's only getting shot and it's breaks bow technique. I'm not going to be using that. So there we are. And some skills, you have to have a certain weapon to use. Bolt burst, yeah, it's not good either. Well, wind's probably the best ability we've got now. You do get grenades later on, and I will probably be using those most of the time. Also a decoy, which is my two favourite ones. And let's go down. I will try and show off all the weapons, because I, use, I did just go through the game mostly just using um, this fang repeater and one other weapon. But I will show them all off, because I guess you want to see them all. Some of them squirts burthen like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Well, let's kill that. And kill that. Nice, simple and easy. Sorry, the frame rate isn't exactly amazing. I'm not sure why that is. Probably just my computer being terrible with traps. It's basically impossible to have something a game and then get more than say 30 FPS without with fraps on. That one was Maud the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. I can't, you can't help but love that narrator. It, it's just amazing. There is no worse no crap. As I was saying, there is no words to express just how great he is. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. Also, how are these... The Bastion's real close now. The health bar... Well, the health tonics can work like this. If you've got full, you just... They go straight to your health. And if you've got... Let's say you've got full health, yeah. Ah, uh, do you pick up a health tonic if you've got full health tonics as well? You get 10 XP instead, which is pretty nice. And if you happen to have full health tonics but not full health, the health tonics just kind of immediately go. So yeah, that's not bad. It means you don't, by picking up one when you're on full health, you don't waste it. Which is nice. Let's just destroy those in case something needs to come out of them. Grab that while I'm at it. Might as well go to full health. Because we are about to have to fight something rather large. Um, now nah, save that until during the fight. Kid takes a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Okay, there we go. Scumbags. Let's try and finish this up. Kid quickly. maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Because those come now, and we do not want to fight those. So we don't have to. Yeah. Robs a scumbag of his last meal. That's just amazing. <laughs> the narration is just brilliant. Kid puts him out of his misery. Now at level 2, I gain a bit more health and also the ability to have one more tonic on it, which is the one you really want. I think you get to full health as soon as you level up. It seems that way anyway. Let's just try and finish this off nice quick. Yeah, if I picked up the stray fragments thing, um, this would be a lot easier to do. You can get fragments from miles away with it. It's quite useful. It means you don't have to run all the way around, but it isn't. It doesn't help your combat, so I don't really. I use it at the beginning, but I get rid of it. He finds the core to the wharf district. Okay, now, now these are the big things at the beginning of the game. You want to collect as many of these as possible to try and get the bastion back to full health. Um, something happens halfway through which basically just doubles the game length. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what happens, but after you've finished all these cores, something happens. But let's just leave it at that. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Okay, now it's time to run. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. Got, 
want some health, actually. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, then I would have got 10 XP, so it doesn't matter. See, that core kid took Skill was the ease. only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. I want the XP, that's the problem. Kid just keeps running. If you fall off, it doesn't really matter, though. Because you just go straight to the bastion. If you get to the end, I think you get quite a bit of experience, so you might as well try. Also, the, you can get uh, an ability to hit me exit to the health tonic to fill all your health. At the moment, they're just going to fill about half of my health. A bit more, maybe. Also, it gives you an extra two tonics. At last, the skyway is in sight. That's re uh, my reward for actually doing it a couple of extra bits and pieces. Whisks him where it needs to go. You can just jump off, and I think you just go straight to the bastion. That's what happened to me anyway on my first go around, second go around, and made it to the end. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Here we are. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. And this is the first, um, basically your friend, which you find. Him, the stranger. We talk for a spell. Man, you can just ask him. Yeah, you usually get more and more things to talk to him about. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way oh, to the nice. cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. Okay, now that we've done that, I want to explain a few more things about this game. Let's start with difficulty settings. There are no easy, medium and hard difficulties in this game. About halfway through, about a quarter of the way through actually. This normal game, yeah? Just the first part, the first half. We're still learning the ropes. This is the bastion at the moment. It's a bit crap, but you do get it better. So yeah, about halfway through, you find something that is called a chapel, I think, or something like that. Temple, you know, monument. No, it's not a monument, is it? Yeah, it's um, just a chapel, temple, something like that. And there, uh, you can pray to the gods. And basically, what it does is, if you pray to a certain god, the god will make it so. Theoretically, anyway, that's the whole in-game thing. Um, you have to impress him a bit, basically. By he makes it so monsters are a tiny bit stronger than normal, a bit more powerful in some way, or maybe it's a bit harder to run through the game. Maybe it takes away a bit of your power, stuff like that. And if you impress him, he makes it so you get more experience, more. Last, uh, more shards of the old world, which is the currency, stuff like that, and basically just increases the speed of you actually getting to an awesome level and basically becoming Zeus, which is always nice. So yeah, now basically every time you hit a core, this happens. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive, starts growing again, growing and stronger. Now I can Kid's got to put its power okay. to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Now I can choose a single upgrade, basically. I can build one building. Usually you just find them out in the wild, you know, through levels and stuff like that. But at this point, I can just build another one. Usually, if you find them out there, it's like you find an arm rift right after you just got, say, well, you know, you've just got a new weapon that's immediately switched out for the current weapon. That way you can just switch them back, which is convenient. Kid ponders what to so we do. we are going to get a distillery. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Okay, we are now going to get, what should we get? I think we're going to get Hearty Punch. Basically, the death system in this game is, if you die, you get an extra chance to carry on basically. You just revive yourself, you stand up, and you get full health and one of the healing tonics, yeah? That is how it works. And then if you die again, you're dead. You go back to either the start of the mission or go back to the bastion. Up to you. This hearty punch is going to give me a second chance. So I can, two times, just instead of dying, get right back on and up and carry on fighting. That's always nice, but 
DR, some things like that. Active only when below 33% health, active when it's only at full health, stuff like that. It's not exactly DR, yeah, full health. I don't really like those that much. Oh, cows are off. And that's my new intro. I probably might even have it. That'd be awesome. So there we are. Oh, nice and done. And that's Bastion. Party punch is so zesty. It'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not you guys want more of this. I will probably record more in a second. But I will not. This is basically the end of part one. Maybe even part two, I'm not sure. Depends on if I decide to have it as one big part. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Not sure whether or not you did. Again, if you did enjoy it, leave the comment section. If you didn't, if you want me to just stick to World of Warcraft and stuff like that, say that as well. Space packs and zombies, all that stuff. Because I have got quite a few things already going on. It's completely up to you. So yeah, that's Bastion. An amazing game which I am in love with. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in part 2 or in whatever the next video I put out is. See you guys.